Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the month of August. This could happen at any time in August. It could happen the day you watch it. So you watch this at the end of July. I mean, the timing is fluid. This is for Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of August. This is a message from my guides. For you, I use the cards as cue cards. And whatever comes out, comes out. So this may or may not be for you. It's for somebody. We will find out. So Aries, what do we have for Aries? We are going to start right here. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Aries for the month of August? What can they expect at some point in August? What do we have for Aries? Oh, look at that. We got a flyer. Strength. Eleven. Strength. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful grace, strength. This is beautiful. Okay. So people are seeing it. They're probably seeing your beauty. There's no doubt about it, Aries. None. Strength. You're overcoming challenges this month. Gracefully. Wow. What do we have for Aries with this deck? You're manifesting without 11. You are absolutely manifesting. Keep in mind, your thoughts truly do become things. Remember that. And things are happening fast when you get 11. You're highly, highly intuitive. So remember that. Don't doubt yourself for a second. All right? Not for a second. What do we got for Aries? Listen. Listen, did I just say that not to doubt yourself? I said, don't doubt yourself for a second. You're highly intuitive, right? Where did that come from? Why did I even say those words? I don't even know. I can't remember. That thought's gone, but this is the high priestess. <laughs> this is a message from my guides. I'm listening. About time you start listening to yours. Do not doubt yourself for even a second. You are receiving messages probably pretty quickly. And you have a divine connection this month. So, so like I said, your thoughts become things. You can manifest. You can call in. That's a soulmate. Eleven is a soulmate number, okay? Two is a soulmate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number. So you have, if you are single and you're trying to call in your soulmate, I'm telling you what. The power is in your hands. All right? If this isn't about a soulmate, if this is about something else, you have the guidance around you. If you would just listen, listen, there's no such thing as coincidence as well. So you're highly, highly, highly intuitive. Make sure that you are paying attention. If you start to think negative, you manifest what you think. This is a message. Obviously somebody needs to hear. You can seriously. You have the power. The power is in your hands. And I don't need the magician card to say that. Okay, the high priestess. Uh, nobody can hide anything from the high priestess.
you know. So do not doubt what you know. That's my message. Male or female. Let's get one of these for Aries. Ooh. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. If you are single, you, this is absolutely about a soulmate. If you are coupled, you know, your soulmate may not be who you thought they were. You know what I mean? Or they, they're different. They're different. There could be issues, you know, because they're so different. They're different than who you've been with in the past. Anyway, this says keep an open mind. Your soulmate, whether you're with them now or you haven't met them yet, they're not what you expect. Put it that way. That's what that means. They're nothing like the last one. Okay. What do we got for Aries, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for Aries? Very powerful. You are. That's a card of power as well. You guys are very, very powerful this month. Ooh, be careful though. Be careful. You don't want to get a big head. No offense. I mean, that just came out of my mouth. Seven of Swords reversed. You know, look at the look on his face. Very, very sneaky. Very sly. Very cunning. This guy is very cunning, you know. He is. He's very manipulative. He thinks he's getting away with something. You know, I mean... This could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. You need to be careful. This is getting caught. Something being revealed. Okay. So that's, that could be applied to something completely different. That's only one card. So be careful. Yes, you do need to be careful. We'll see what comes with it. Ooh. Tower reverse. Well, yeah, be careful. There could be some sort of downfall. Okay. Things could get turned upside down for you. So be careful. There's the, there could be something you've been trying to avoid getting caught. Or or this you could be dealing with somebody who is lying and they're going to get caught. I mean, it could go vice versa. This is for false sense of security. Ooh. This is falling down, though. Something could fall down. Wow. Well, scary, scary. Oh, reverse. And I use, I've used this deck. I've had this deck for over a year, so I don't want to hear one word about reversals, okay? These are cue cards for me. Has nothing to do if the card is upright or reversed. I look at the card and I get the message. And reversals give me a different message. There's lack of faith here. <clears throat> this is not conven conventional. This is not the con conventional conventional thing to do. There's something scary here. This is scary. I'm sorry. It is. I got the message. Okay. And I've been getting intuitive messages so much that it's really affecting my readings. <laughs> anyway. Um... It is scary. It is something is scary. This is um, lack of faith. Lack of faith. Uh, you may not be listening to your gut. And you need to. Maybe you don't have faith in yourself. Ooh. Come on. Are they all going to be reversals? Hold on. I did not fix this. There we go. Now we got an upright. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, I got an extra card. These are upright. Okay. So. Well, the last card is love. Abundance of love. Overflowing in love. But. But. We have. We could have a fear of commitment. Or a lack of faith in love. Or. Focusing too much on money, focusing too much on your job, money, 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 yeah, okay, 
Hmm. Not thinking clearly, not seeing things clearly, not willing to budge. Throwing away an opportunity, a loss of an opportunity. But this is this is an unexpected fortune receiving money. You know, I don't know what the hell this is. This is unexpectedly, this is an upcoming, something to celebrate. Upcoming celebration where we, you could receive something. You could be receiving more money. A payoff of some sort. You've been really focused on it anyway, right? You have been. Really, really secluding yourself. Where you're going to be. This is August, right? This is secluding yourself. Now, this is in your approach. My approach position. You know, take all the time you need. Take all the time you need. Maybe you're going through an enlightenment. Maybe you're going through some sort of a spiritual awakening right now. Obviously, we have the high priestess here. So, you probably are getting some spiritual downloads. You may be isolating yourself. The challenge is money, though. The challenge is losing money. You know, you're probably afraid to lose money. The challenge is loss of abundance. Loss of stability. And this is loss of stability as well. So, we got somebody here that is losing their stability. And this could be health-wise, just so you know. This doesn't have to be... You know, I could, I don't know, health just came out of my mouth. In that, cause, so there could be, somebody could be regaining their strength from poor health. Hmm. So stabilizing. We have somebody here that is, the challenge is stabilizing your, your, your income perhaps. Maybe somebody, you know, <laughs> was duped or tricked or deceived. Stolen from? Who knows? That could certainly be the case here. You could be dealing with somebody who is actually a thief. No shit. Doesn't care who the hell they hurt. So just be careful. You may have a thief or somebody that doesn't have good intentions. That's just after your money. That is something you needed to hear. <laughs> so, but this is unexpected happiness. It could be an unexpected fortune. It could be an unexpected commitment. You could run into somebody unexpectedly if you are single. And it could lead to a strong bond. It could lead to marriage. It could lead to engagement. You could meet this person out and about having fun. And it could lead to love. Okay? You could. This person will give equally to the situation. Okay? Won't back where you have to do all the work. So whatever that is. I feel as though your fear is losing money. Your fear, right? I think that you are burying yourself in your work or something. Or your, 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 your biggest fear is has to do with money. It has to do with um, maybe there's not enough money to go around or something like that. Um, and there's risky business here. This is risky business. And this is, remember I said there's, it's scary. Somebody is really scared of losing money. And they may be doing things a non-traditional way to recover money. So that could be happening. Um, either way, you're going to get emotional fulfillment Aries this month in some way. Because this is an outpouring of emotional abundance. This is <laughs> love overload. Okay, so... A new offer of love and support. You're going to get a new loving offer for something. And it could lead to more money. If it's a job, it could be more money. This is the gift of love. It really is. Oh. Exhaustion. Very, 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 very exhausted. We have somebody here that is working way too hard. Way, 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 way too. Could be affecting your heart. I'm just saying. Maybe you need to take a break. Okay? I'm sorry, but I mean, I got to tell you what I see. You might need to take a break. You know, your heart needs a break. Maybe you need to take a break from dating. 
Maybe you need to isolate yourself. If you're dating and you're seeing all kinds, maybe somebody needs to take a freaking break. Put it that way. Maybe you got to heal your heart. Maybe you got to love yourself. Maybe you got to work on self-love. I don't know. But somebody needs to take a break, and that is no joke. So, anyway, um, your heart needs attention. Do you have time for love, or do you work too much? Is that the problem? Is that the problem? I bet that is. I think that's probably the problem. Well, you have an opportunity for love here, Aries. You absolutely do. A partnership? For real. Something that would really... You would love it, put it that way. This is a partnership that could really make you happy. Could lead to marriage. If you are in a, a coupled relationship, you know... Maybe you're not focusing on your partner and you need to start focusing on them. Give a little bit of time and energy to love. If you're single, well, you could meet somebody spontaneously. I'm not kidding either. And I know I've been saying that. I'm telling you what, I, it's got to be right here if you because I feel it. And I'm not Aries. So, and I'm, I'm not... seeing an Aries. I was seeing an Aries, but I'm not now. I did tell you that in one of my lives, so I don't want you guys to think I'm basing this on that. I'm not. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I told you that, but it has nothing to do with that. This has nothing to do with me whatsoever. Um, coming out of conflict. Con conflict. Yeah, that's a good one. Conflict. No competition. No tension. Easy. Oh my God. Listen, this could be an easy partnership. You could, you could meet up with somebody where it's just, you know, there's equal give and take. It's not one-sided. There's not a lot of conflict. There's nothing to fight about. Usually in the end, they're in the honeymoon period anyway. Um, oh, blocking. Denial. Hmm. Denying a partnership. Denying love. Dual, you got double loyalty here. On one hand, you know, I got, I got other shit to do. One and one. Okay, we can have love or we can work. What's it going to be? <laughs> oh, boy. Reluctant. Reluctant to, to even let love in. Ooh. Let go of the past hurts. Time to forgive and open your heart again. If you're single, you have to open your heart again. This is healing, healing from heartache, healing from heart pain. Heal your heart. We talked about this. Oh God. So yeah, you guys got to, you guys got to let somebody love you. Stop blocking somebody. Stop blocking the truth. Stop blocking people. You might be afraid of, somebody might be afraid of commitment. Anyway, Aries, I feel as though. You are going to have an unconventional meetup with somebody. And, and this could lead to marriage. It could lead to marriage. But you're going to have to unblock your heart. No shit. Okay. You're going to have to unblock your heart and give somebody a chance. And we got somebody here that is afraid. Afraid to follow their heart. Afraid to give somebody a chance. If you're single, this is you. If you are in a coupled relationship, or maybe you're not just afraid, maybe you just don't have time, single or coupled. I got work to do, and relationship is not my priority. And not making a relationship a priority is absolutely a loss. You can't hang on to something that you don't put effort into. So anyway, I think we got somebody who needs to refocus. They need to come up with another plan or they need or they are coming up with another plan or they're taking a time out to recover from heartache.
from the pain, from, 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 from work or whatever it is. It's a time of, of healing, self-healing. It's a time of recuperation. It's a time of <laughs> maybe celebrating your new life for some of you because this is a celebration down there. I, some of you are going to go to a celebration and you are going to meet somebody unexpectedly. This person does not fit the description they do not fit the physical description that you are used to, but I feel like this person is your soulmate, okay? But you gotta, you gotta not, maybe in this case with this two of swords, the mask is good. Look with your heart. Oh, use your heart to choose. You know? I don't know where that came from. Anyhow, I feel as though this stagnation period that you have been in is just about over. Because I think they're bringing you a gift of love. But you could lose it if you don't unblock your heart. And that's what I got. So there's an offer of love here, Aries. It's a big one. A big, 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 big one. Don't throw it away. That's my advice. 